Tutorial 38 in Inventor for Beginner about advanced dimensioning. In the previous tutorial, we talked about the text. The next section is the project geometry, which we talked about it in the tutorial number 19. Also in the tutorial number 34, where we used an example how to use the project geometry in sketching. The next section is the constraint and dimensions. We already talked about the basics of dimensions and constraints in tutorial number 9 and 10 and tutorial 8. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk more in details about dimensioning. So in the previous tutorial number 8, we didn't talk about the automatic dimensioning or the show constraints and so on so now let's we have this sketch we created in the previous tutorials and we remember the selection process if you select from left to right from right to left you know this the idea of selection from the previous tutorial and if you look here you'd see 34 dimensions needed to fully define the sketch to fully define the color of the sketch will be changing when it is defined and here are the number of open sketches or files so now let's go to automatic dimensioning if you click on your automatic dimensions you will see the curves and the dimensions required are 34 as we said and here you are either to make dimensions and constraint or only dimensions so let's click apply so now we have this all dimensions are created and we defined our sketch It looks not very clear here but you see all these are applied so if you click remove you'll be removed then if you just click on dimensions apply so you notice you have your dimensions remove if you want to just define the constraint apply you are applying your constraint let's click done to show your constraint there is two ways either to show all the constraint on your sketch by clicking as we said F8 so you see all your constraint shown so the sketch become quite unclear to see to remove them you can click F9 or choose one constraint right click hide all constraint or there's another way just to show some specific constraints here you click on constraint choose this line you will see the constraints associated with this line and if you see select this line also so this is quite more comfortable to work and the same idea if we go to the automatic dimensioning you can select the parts which you want to make an automatic dimensioning not all the sketch so for example you can click on curve so you can select the the part which required some dimensioning let's click this line this line and click apply so you have the dimensions applied on the selected edges and the required dimension are now 28 let's click remove also it is one idea to be used with the automatic dimensioning for example we can not select the constraint just dimension let's select the this part 
and click apply so you see all dimensions required to define the sketch and when you done you go back there and again edit the dimensions so it is quite nice method to use the automatic dimension no dimensions so let's here go to this automatic dimensioning let's select this part apply done here you can know all the dimensions associated in the sketch so now one last thing I want to show you when you are fully defined your sketch the color of your sketch will be changed to the fastest way to define our sketch automatic dimensioning apply on everything done so you notice the sketch now turn into dark blue instead of black 